Today I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone 5 is video and I've done maybe two videos like this already on my old phone but recently or not recently but like a month ago or a few month and a few weeks ago my um, gold 5s was stolen and funny story um the other day we me and my mom went to AT&T and we found out the person who um, stole my other phone was trying to make an international call to Pun or Punjabi India and it was kind of weird because um, I actually when I found out that I lost it, I went back into the grocery store searching for it, and I saw it's weird because I just saw this random person just standing there, like looking around. And usually, when you go to a grocery store, you're buying groceries, right? Well, this person was just like standing around and stuff like that. And I don't mean to assume that it was him, but it's just kind of like a coincidence, like someone just standing around in a grocery store looking around for things to steal. So yeah, we found out that the person who was trying to steal my phone tried to make an international call and at first I was just like, okay, how did this person know my house code? And I t asked Jared about it and he's like, um, people can actually still make em emergency calls off of your lock screen. Um, I think it's just like this little thing right here that says emergency. I think you just call someone like that. <laughs> yeah, so this is going to be a what's on my iPhone 5S video on my new one. So yeah. So I have the black iPhone 5S in space gray and black, and I used to have the gold um, and white iPhone 5S, but I decided to get to go with the black one just because it was different, and yeah, and sorry for my nails, um, I know that they don't look the prettiest, but yeah, <laughs> but this is what my phone looks like, I just have this clear um, ombre case, gold to clear ombre case, and I got this at Target, and yeah, I really wanted to get a clear case so you can see the back of the um black 5s. I just think that the space gray is a really nice color and it's sleek and that's why I got it in this color and hi you can see me. <laughs> um, but this is what my lock screen looks like. It's basically just my boyfriend shirtless with a towel because he went to go sw swimming that day and yeah and today is Wednesday September 10th and today it's 10.32 right now. I'm about to leave to class soon and oh I just got a message from Jared. Let me do this again. So um yeah, I'm not going to show you guys my passcode, but let's go into my phone. So, this is what my home screen looks like. Actually, basically, this is what my first home screen looks like. I just moved something, like, everything over, a page over, so you can just have a blank page like this, and you can see me. Oh my gosh, that's weird. But this is just, just me, um, me and my boyfriend. He painted um, my little cat face, and I painted his little cat face, but I believe that he did a better job because he put more effort into it. And I just painted his face, like, random. I was going to, like, write, um, put a heart on his forehead, but he didn't let me. But <laughs> this is what all the apps, these are the, all the apps that I have on my phone. So I just have YouTube, obviously. I'm a YouTuber. i got to check my stuff. I have my clock app, and I used to have that in a folder, but I use the alarm on it, and I just feel like it's more quick when I have it on my lock screen. And then I have my weather app, and then I have Waze. And basically what Waze is, is a traffic app. So if, let's say, you're going to um, college, you're commuting, co commuting to college, and you need to check the traffic to see if um, there is a lot of traffic, well, I'm not going to open it up right now because it says where I, my location is, but, yeah, it's basically um, a traffic app telling you um, if there's traffic on the freeway in different ways where you can go to avoid traffic and stuff like that. And then it's pretty legit. Like when there is a car stopped on the shoulder, it says like car watch up or something like that. Um, car stopped on the shoulder. It's pretty legit. And yeah, and this is my necessities folder right here. I just have my calendar, Safari, notes, contacts, settings, find my iPhone. And I now put this I had this I had find my iPhone on my last iPhone but it wasn't on but this time I I make sure it's on just in case my phone gets stolen and I actually have warranty on my phone now so that's good and then I have maps reminders and calculator and in the social folder um I haven't been going on Twitter and Instagram for that much um lately just because of some reasons um but it's been really peaceful not to have um you know, go on those things for a while, but I um, have my Snapchat right here, but I'm not logged in just because um, I get so many, like, random snaps from people, like, that it's, like, oh, I'm eating this. Honestly, I really, I'm sorry, but I really don't care what you're eating or you're doing at the moment. I'm sorry. That's why I kind of just logged out. 
Like, honestly, I just don't understand the point of, like, random snaps, but, yeah. And then I have Pinterest, and I love Pinterest. You guys can follow me. Um, I'll have the links down below, and this is just my Pinterest profile. I have a lot of, like, hair inspiration, beauty, fashion, gotta try DIYs, and ideas for the house. Um, this is, this, this board right here is basically for when I get my own apartment so I know how to decorate my apartment because I'm really looking forward that, forward to that in the future. And then I just have Facebook, um, I'm not gonna, it's not my, um, actual name. I, the reason, well, the only reason why I have Facebook is because my, um, math professor wanted us to join a group and I, you know, didn't want to make a Facebook with my name. I already had one before I deleted it. I don't want a Facebook, but I just had to do that for um, school reasons. So please do not ask what my Facebook is. I do not have one. And then I have photos. I'm not going to go into that. And then I also have my picture editing apps. And you guys also requested me to do a video on how I edit my pictures. And I'm going to show you real quick. So this right here is Vasco Cam. And basically what it is is filters for your um, pictures and let's edit this picture of me and Jared right here okay so it basically has all these different filters um, a lot of I really love these filters some of them don't look good on this picture I don't know why but it's just like that and then you can also like change how much um, of the effect that you want like that and then you can also edit the pictures, like the exposure, the light, the temperature. You can crop your pictures and stuff like that. And basically what I do is I, um, when I'm done doing this, I go to this little check mark. I press it and then I go to this little arrow and it says save to my camera roll. So I save it to my camera roll. So let's just pretend I saved it to my camera roll. And then I go on this thing called Square Eddy. And basically I've shown this in like my past What's My iPhone videos. And basically it just, um... You know, squares your pictures in the Instagram, like how you have to crop it and stuff. I just pulled up a picture, you know, this is actually going to be a picture in one of my thumbnails. So I'm just going to use that picture and then you, you can also like just put it like that or you can put it like this and you can move it around. And you can also change the color of this white background to any color like, um, let's see, you can change it to red. Let's go with red. You can change it to different colors, you know, cool things like that. And then... I go to this little settings thing right there, and then you can also export it to Instagram, and then I usually press this at the bottom, but I'm not going to do it because I don't want to put that on Instagram. And then I also have Insta Collage. I have Photoshop Express, and this is what I use to edit some of my pictures for my thumbnails as well. I don't usually use Photo Editor. I don't use Flipagram unless I want to do um, something cool on Instagram, like a little short um, picture video. I have Pick Joiner, which is um, really nice. It's basically the same thing as Instacollage, but this has, you can have like different um, sizes. And I just hate it when this thing does that, but you can have different sizes. If you guys were wondering how I made my thumbnails in the past with collages, I used to use this app, but I don't edit my thumbnails on my phone anymore because I, I like how um, you can make your thumbnails more interesting on PicMonkey, so I use PicMonkey.com to edit my um, thumbnails so yeah and then I have we heart which is basically um, a cool picture app where you can find like cool pictures and backgrounds this is basically where I get all of my phone backgrounds but I've been using pictures of me and Jared lately because it's just cute like that and he um, <laughs> his background his um, lock screen and background is actually my profile picture on YouTube so it's kind of funny and stuff like that. <laughs> and then Photo Rest, it's, um, I just downloaded that, but I had it on my old phone, my Galaxy, and it's just basically an app where, mm, nope, I do not want to follow you. <laughs> um, it has Instamag, which I never use. It has Collage, which I use sometimes, and then you can just do Pro Edit, Insta Beauty, Pip. I've never heard of these two right here before. I never used those before. And then in the music app, I have Spotify, I have Pandora, I have iTube, which sucks now because it doesn't play music like it used to do on my old um, phone and stuff like that. It's weird. And then I have Shazam, just in case I hear a song in the car that I really like. And then I have music. I use um, iTunes Radio all the time besides Pandora because Pandora always uses, like, plays old songs and... I really like new songs now. So, um, yeah. And then here is iMovie. 
here is a preview of my um up or actually this um this what's on my iPhone video will be uploaded after this video right here. So yeah, this I have I just shot it right now. I haven't been I haven't edited it yet, but here's just a preview of some of the videos that you guys will be seeing in the future. Or actually these already should be up, but um I also have PayPal for my little YouTube um, career kind of st um, style haul program and also if you guys want a video on um, all about style haul and stuff like that I can do that and then in my games folder I have Traffic Racer, The Tower, and Sonic Dash um, I love Traffic Racer and I just got the um, Tower game and it's addicting and I Sonic Dash I can never you know figure out how to jump right in it it's weird any minute now. Okay, here we go. These ads are so annoying. Um, okay. Like, okay, so this is where you learn how to play or something, but I can never get, um, how to jump right. Like, it's weird. Well, I jump like that, but... <laughs> uh, okay. I want you to jump, so that's what I'm doing. And I fall in the water, like... I don't get what I'm doing wrong here, so if you have this game, please tell me what I'm doing wrong. I just, like, it wants me to do that, but I just, I just, I can't get on the other side. <laughs> it's very frustrating. I might delete this app later, but the next thing I have is Lightly, and I just downloaded it the other day, and it's basically a, um, it's kind of just like Vasco Cam, you know, different photo effects and stuff like that. I haven't used this yet in my pictures, but I'm going to be using that soon. And then, lastly, I have my productivity folder, and I just have iTunes Store, App Store, and FaceTime. And at the bottom, I just have my phone, my camera, my email, and my messages, you know, just important, like, apps like that. So, that's basically, that's all on my phone. I'm sorry if this wasn't, like, the most interesting video, but... Um, I tried, and I know that David requested me to do this, so I really want to put this up for him. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and that's basically what is on my iPhone for now. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!